Greetings from Neuron Themes. It happens to the best of us to land on a page with a broken URL and see an error message telling us that the page does not exist or it's not available. That can be frustrating and agitating for most people. How do we avoid this and transform it into a blissful and delightful experience? That's where 404 pages come in handy. Let's see how we can create one. From the WordPress dashboard, Templates, Theme Builder. Click on the Error 404 tab and from there, click on the Add New button to start creating your 404 page. To get started, as per usual, you can either create your own 404 page piece by piece or use a pre-made template designed by our team to come to your rescue and customize it using the endless tools available. We will build ours from scratch. Let's begin. First, we will need to add a section. We will tweak the settings so that our 404 page looks clean and neat. We will assign the content width to full width. The columns gap will be set to no gap. We will assign a minimum height and the value we'll put will be 100 viewport heights. This will have our 404 page take up the entire screen no matter what device you display it from. The columns position will be set to stretch and last from this tab will be the vertical align which will be set to middle. Let's go straight to the advanced tab and add some margin values. We'll drag an inner section onto the page for better organization of our elements. We'll teach you how because the results will be all worth it. Delete one column. Go to the advanced tab. Here we will put some margin values of 150 pixels. Let's drag the first element onto the page, a heading element. Type in the content. From the style tab we will set a color for the text and we will tweak the typography options. Let's go to the advanced tab and we will add some padding values of 32 pixels to add some space beneath the heading. We'll drag another heading element. Type in the content. We will copy the style from the first heading and apply it to our second heading. Let's drag in an image element. This will be the first of the many shapes we are going to add. Set the image size to full. From the style tab, set the width for the image. Now watch this. From the advanced tab, click on the positioning tab. The width will be set to inline. The position will be set to absolute. This will give you total freedom to place elements anywhere on the page. The horizontal orientation will be set to right. The offset for the horizontal position will be set to 15%. Now the vertical orientation. Set it to top and the offset will be set to negative 25%. And that's perfect. We will add a button to have our users engage with our 404 page and give them the opportunity to go back to the home page. Set the text. Align the button to the right. And now let's style our button. Tweak the typography options. Choose one from the global list. Set the background color. This blue looks adorable. We will add a border and set the width to be the value of 1 on all sides. Set the border radius to 3 pixels all around. And last from the style tab, we will add some padding values for the button. Go to the advanced tab and this time we will add some margin values at the top and right side of the button. We're almost done. We will add some other images with the same procedure we applied for the first image. Only this time, we will drag them outside the inner section to have them flowing around our page. Upload the image. Set the image size to full. From the style tab, set the width for the image. And from the advanced tab, click on the positioning section. Set the width to inline and the position will be set to absolute. Set the horizontal and vertical orientation. Let's apply the same steps two more times. This time we will speed the video a little bit because every step will be the same. Set the horizontal position right, the offset to 25%, the vertical orientation to bottom, and that's it. One more image to add. Let your creative side free here. With the absolute position you can locate elements anywhere you want on the page. Play around with the settings to see what fits you best and make the most out of this wondrous feature.
We're all set now. Four or four pages should not be boring. Although our design seems quite colorful and engaging, we will add some motion effects on our elements to sparkle some engagement and interest even when there is no page to be found. Click on the image element to open its options, and from the Advanced tab, click on Motion Effects, switch the handle on for mouse effects. Under the Mouse Track option, tweak the settings for the direction and speed. You can set it to be opposite or direct, and assign a speed at which the elements will move according to the mouse movements. 0.2 seems good for us, but you can always set a different value, one that fits your design best. And that's it! Once you're done unleashing all that creativity of yours, click on Publish and you will need to assign the display of your 404 pages. From the Conditions tab, select the 404 page from the drop-down menu. And that's it! Whenever a user stumbles upon a 404 page, it means that the user reached the domain they requested, but the URL path provided no information. You can get creative with these 404 pages to build trust among your visitors. A great 404 page can be a smart way to show off your brand's personality or add cool and funny images, videos or GIFs. And that's all on 404 pages. It's really that simple. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.